Pushing the boundaries, having fun and exploring product was the key to the start of this project. Using an old MDF door, I set to designing and creating a new life for it using various Buyer Paints products from the interior paint collection and the artist range, planning a bold and exciting meeting table for the team which showcased some of the paint effect products that many people think of as dull, boring or predictable. As with all projects, the key to success is in the prep and taking care to follow drying times, etc. The first step was priming with a mix of tongue oil and thinner to seal the MDF. I then followed with Biopaints wall paint primer and paint in white. Painting the table with colour began with Biopaints Kingfisher wall paint, an amazing bright greeny blue which was my key colour. This I used to give a detail around the outer edge of the table and carry through the project to give continuity. Next, I used the Lazure glazes. These are just amazing to apply as they are translucent and not only a pleasure to use, but smell incredible. It's like aromatherapy for your painting project. I used a combination of pigments from the range and in pure concentrations. This was to create the strongest colours and layering possible as I wanted to push the boundaries of the Lazure. I've only ever seen Lazure used to create soft effects on walls, but felt that it could be used to give the layering effect with a strong punchy colour impact. Where I found the colours in the Lazure range were limiting me, I opted to use the artist range of powder pigments to broaden my scope. This worked fantastically as I had total control of them. Violet and turquoise were the most successful in this project as they had a depth unachievable in the Lazure pigment range. And not only that, they allowed me to get creative in making the glaze from scratch using a clear base and making the pigment up. Brushing, dragging and sponging were all it techniques I used on the table. In total, I applied around 10 layers of Lazure glaze to the central geometric panels and four to the outer edge. Stamping, stenciling and freehand painting were all other techniques I used to add more detail and drama to the table. It had to be fun and bold. I really wanted the table to be opulent and over the top rather than a predictable one-toned colour or stain. Designing and making the stencils for the plumes which I added to the four corners of the table was a simple step. Painting with bio paints by Hokey wall paint with violet iron glimmer added to create a gold paint. This was brilliant. It gave a soft gold that I hoped would come alive with further coats. The stamping around the outer edge of the table was quick and easy. Using Kingfisher wall paint to stamp along a pattern one direction and in reverse. This again brought the table together with detailing and colour. With four layers of Lazure in a soft turquoise blue tone and the Kingfisher stamp detailing, I then went over the whole area with a glazer made up using Biopaint's hard varnish, tongue oil and pearlescent pigment from the artist range. This made a beautiful pearl glaze which went on smoothly. I also used this to create a loose leaf pattern down the bulk of the table to break up the geometric blocks of colour. I loved using the pearlescent and the muted colours, making them soft and lustrous. Buy paints Fresh Start, a good red and black robin wall paints were also used in the table for detailing. The final touch to the table was the central crest. Having designed and drawn the template, I then laid it over the middle of the table and set to tracing and freehanding it with pencil, filling in with buy paints wall paint by Hokey gold version with the glimmer and ending with an outline in black robin enamel paint. The final touch was the peacock feather to add a bit more mixed media and depth. Finishing with four coats of boy paints hard varnish gloss brought the whole table alive and made the colours more vibrant, exciting and bold resulting in a fun, bright meeting table.